Hi, this is Becky from More Than Borderline, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a safe place, or a comfort zone. A comfort zone is exactly what it sounds like. It's an area of your house or apartment where you can go and just relax, try to de-stress, try to calm down. Here is how I built mine in a corner of my apartment. I first bought a small stand on which to place some of these comforting items. I covered it with this blanket. I like the colors of this blanket and they feel soothing to me. I've put this lamp on that. This is an ancient Near Eastern or Middle Eastern oil lamp. I am a Christian and when I look at this it reminds me of my beliefs because lamps are commonly mentioned throughout the Bible. It reminds me also of enlightenment, which I seek through my spirituality. You may want to consider putting something with your own spiritual path, or if you're not a spiritual person, something that means a lot to you, something you deeply believe. Next, I have this jug that I picked up at a friend's tea shop. It kind of looks like it could go by the lamp, it also has a very soothing sound when I blow into it. Next, this was a present from my youngest brother. It's a jewel box of sorts. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but it's very pretty and it reminds me of my family. I also have this belt pouch. This is a Native American design. I like the feel of the fox fur. I like the sound of the beads clacking together and the special stones I keep inside the pouch. And I like to look at it because the white fox fur is very beautiful. I also have this stone. You can't really see what it says, but it says peace. I'm a person of peace and I am seeking peace, so the stone serves a double purpose. And finally, I have an incense burner. Now, you may not like to burn incense, but it does have some aromatherapy benefits. This can be of great use in helping you de-stress. Find what works for you in when you build your de-stress zone. Remember, you're the person you're trying to comfort, so you have to find what works for you. Have a good evening.